How's it going? Welcome back. Uh, what we got today, we got our PSA order coming back from our vintage PSA uh, submission. I did about 20, somewhere around like 25 cards. Um, a couple were mine, most of my father-in-law's. Uh, so we just got that back. I'm going to be opening that today. Um, didn't have a whole lot of high expectations for grades, but um, a lot of old vintage cards I just wanted to get slabbed. Um, just because even low grades, the majority of these are all just going to be sold, um, but even the low grades bring quite a bit more uh, value to the cards uh, and authenticate them, which is is nice for whoever's buying them. Um, so that, that definitely drives the price up. So we're going to open that up first. Got a little Aberfeldy 16-year single malt scotch. That we're drinking tonight. Just had a nice uh, glass of tealing too. So we're on our uh, our second box here. So let's go ahead and open this up. See how we did. Again, like I said, wasn't expecting any uh, high grades or anything like that. It just nothing looked in insanely great or anything like that. But still wanted to grade them up. Looks like we do have some uh, some cards that didn't make the grade. So let's actually pull these ones out first. See what we got here. Mm -hmm. A few of them here. All right. Let's check these ones out first. So, so we got a pair of Roberto Clemente's. Um, those are the 1972 Clemente's. Both those got min size requirement. Man, they jacked that. Look at that corner they jacked up to. They just jammed that thing back in there. That's brutal. Come on, PSA, do better. What is that? So these ones got min size requirements. Um, a lot of these older cards just there weren't a whole lot of standards when they cut them. Um, who knows? Through the years, these could have been trimmed or or somewhat modified I have no idea um, like I said majority of these are, are for a father my father-in-law um, I don't think he would have ever trimmed anything but over time whether who he got them from who knows uh, could have had some issue got a Hank Aaron Willie Mays tops in the NL uh, that was a 1964 another men size requirement got Brooks Robinson same thing 1963 another just jamming in there. That kind of pisses me off that they uh, really did not uh, load them back into the card savers very well. 62 uh, home run kings that had Roger Maris, Orlando Cepeda. Same thing. So is that five cards that unfortunately did not get graded. Uh, let's see what we got here then. So we got a couple big stacks. Go in order on these. I don't think they. Yeah, they didn't load them in order, so they're gonna be kind of all random. All right, toss the box. And we'll go here. All right, so the first one we got was the 1963. That's the Tony Oliva, Ed Crane Pool, rookie card. Now we've got a 3.5. You don't see the uh, the point fives very often with PSA. So that's a pretty sweet card. 3.5. Nice looking card. Eye appeal's good on that one. The 63 rookies. Next, we got a 1962 Roberto Clemente. That got a VGEX4. With that wood grain color to it easy to chip on the sides corners aren't great back looks pretty clean nice card Clemente wish the other two Clementes would have uh, graded but they didn't got a Phil Necro rookie card 1964 got a VG3 this was uh, besides that one besides the uh, 
submission during COVID, which was a debacle that I went through a uh, third party and had to deal with the police. Um, this was probably the longest um, turnaround time was the vintage. We did it on the vintage special. I think it was 15 bucks a card. Um, but man, it, it just took forever to uh, to get the cards back. I think it was damn near three months. So um, I don't know if just a lot of people were saving up a lot of vintage and then it just kind of backed up. But I did send it back towards the end of the, uh, the promo too. So who knows? Um, but yeah, there's just definitely a long wait on this one. Uh, a couple of nice names right there. The 1963 Tops Power Plus. Got Ernie Banks and Hank Aaron. I got a VGEX4. Another nice card, a little off centered there. Um, when you got these colored borders, it's just, it's so hard to get good grades. But I mean, corners and edges look pretty solid on that one. Nice looking card, nice eye appeal. Real nice bright back. Definitely pops. All right, we got a 1973 Clemente. Quite a bit later in his career here. And that one got a EX5. Solid grade on that one. Nice looking corners, good centering. Black, uh, black border background, so a lot of edge wear on that. Tough to make that look good. Definitely uh, quite a ways into his career here. 55, looks like it was a rookie. Actually, 54, Montreal Expos. I don't know. What was Clemente's rookie, 53 or 54? I think I know a guy who might comment and tell me what his rookie is. And that guy might be great. <laughs> Uh, this one's mine. This is a Tony Oliva 1964 Tops uh, Rookie Stars card. I got a five. Like that grade right there. I don't remember if I bought this one on eBay or picked this one up at a show. But solid grade right there. Take that. Uh, I'm guessing the next two. Yep, next two are also mine. It's a 1965 Home Run Leaders. Had Killebrew, Mantle, Boob Powell. Um, definitely liked it for the Killebrew, for the Twins, but also getting a, getting a Mantle card. I picked these up. I think I picked these up at a show for, for real cheap, for just like a couple bucks. I mean, later in the career, not rookie cards by any means, but getting a Mantle on there, getting a Killebrew, um, even the Powell on there. But some big-time names. Some of these later... Uh, Later style leader cards you can get for cheap just because oh, they're more produced than, than the standard base cards and considered an insert. So, um, picked up a couple of them at a show for dirt cheap and kind of went that route. Uh, a little bang for your buck. Next one, second one, they both look good. And this one got a seven uh, again, nice, nice edges, good corners. Centering looks good. I'll probably keep the seven, sell the six. Let's keep that one for my uh, for my PC. Same with the Oliva. I keep that for the PC. So I'll put that one on the six side. Keep the seven. So I'm happy with those. Definitely. Uh, next one is God, my chair just keeps messing up here. Next one is uh, probably one of the coolest cards, I think. My father-in-law's 61 Mantle. I knew it wouldn't grade super well. Um, it's got a little bit of creasing, rounded corners pretty much everywhere, but um, baseball cards, Mantle's one of, the, one of the kings, definitely on the Mount Rushmore. Um, you got your, you got your uh, Mantle's, Hank Aaron's, Willie Mays, I mean, you go T206, you got some grails and stuff, but man, Mantle, to find an actual Mantle card and actually be able to hold a Mantle card is pretty sweet, so, uh, you only got a 1.5, uh, but I wasn't expecting, I was honestly expecting one, with, uh, got creasing down here, creasing on both these corners, 
usually that'll pretty much make it an automatic one uh, through PSA so I was actually happy to get a 1.5 Um, definitely like that but on that Mount Rushmore you got Babe Ruth you got Honus Wagner got a few kind of bouncing around here um, we got 62 Willie Mays it's late I've been drinking we're having fun 62 Willie Mays that uh, wood grain border again uh, also the surface looks a little iffy I don't remember it looking like that when I uh, sent it in but it is what it is um, 62 Mays VG3. A little rough around the area, but at least they didn't use like a, a colored background or anything. Those colored backgrounds, as much as they don't put as much emphasis on the back, um, it, it definitely shows a lot more wear when they have the, the colored backs on them. Got a 62 Stan Usual, and we got a VG EX4. Another nice card. That centering looks pretty solid. Uh, a lot of 62s in here, so I'm going to kind of go through a little, little line of those. Next, we got a 62 Sandy Koufax. That one's centering is real rough. So that got a 4. This got a 4. I mean, centering is, is great on the stand. Sandy Koufax, not so much. I feel like the corners are pretty dang close, so... How that can get a four and this get a four is, is kind of a little bonkers to me, but at the uh, at the mercy of the graders, unfortunately. So another VGEX four. Koufax, one of the best pitchers in history. I mean, he was unbelievable. Arguably one of the best. 62 Tops Manager's Dream. That's got Mantle and Willie Mays. Willie Mays just recently passed away, unfortunately. Um, so that's a really nice card. Two amazing players on there. Two Rushmore players right there, in my opinion. Got a VG3, quite off centered. Um, but overall, surface looks really nice. Corner's a little iffy. Um, a lot of chipping on that wood grain. But overall, really nice card. Those are two goats right there. Speaking of two goats, there's another two. Lou Gehrig, Babe Ruth, 1962 Tops. I think they had a, a Babe Ruth kind of insert set in this one. So this is one of them right here. I got a VG3, very good three. Same thing, got a pretty rough corner up here with some, some creasing. <clears throat> The, the mantle definitely looks a lot better than that one. Next, we got a 1962 rookie parade. All rookies here. Hall of Famer. Bottom right corner, Bob Euchre. Bob Euchre on there. The Milwaukee Braves. That one got a VG3. Really nice looking card. Bob Euchre, the, uh, the announcer in Major League, and actually an announcer in uh, regular baseball. Great guy. Uh, always fun listening to him. Made He was, I mean, great role in, uh, in Major League. He was hilarious. One of my favorites. Next, we got a 1963 Yogi Berra. Later career card. We got a VG3. Quite off-centered. Decent amount of chipping around the edges. Look at them stats right there. Yogi Berra. Yankees. Yankee great. And the last one is a 1963 Sandy Koufax. That one got a VGEX4. A little later Koufax. Uh, quite off-centered. Again, the colored borders on the bottom. Makes it look a little, a little iffy. Uh, corners look pretty solid on that one, though. Back looks good. Maybe a little issues in the corners up there, but overall not too bad. Again, I wasn't expecting anything too crazy on these grades. Um, so the fours, 
are kind of what I was expecting. The threes kind of stink, but um, I was expecting kind of threes and fours. Uh, the mantle 1.5, honestly, I was expecting a one, so the 1.5 is actually a little bit nicer. Um, and then for the highest grade, it was uh, the Kilbrew Mantle Boog Powell, and uh, that was one of mine. Again, that was a show find, just a real solid looking card, and that's kind of why I picked it up for a couple bucks. I uh, can't go wrong with putting some Hall of Famers in a slab, uh, especially when you got a few of them there. So, uh, overall, pretty happy with the outcome. Uh, would have obviously loved better grades, but it is what it is. It takes those uh, raw cards, definitely add some value, add security for those that are buying them. Again, I'll end up selling pretty much this entire stack, probably the entire one. I'll double check with the uh, father in law, make sure he doesn't want any of those. Save the these two from my PC and sell the lower grade uh, Killbrew Mantle. Uh, so, if you're interested in any of those cards, definitely check out my uh, eBay. I'm just going to price them pretty much on the lower end of the comps. I'm um, just doing them as buy it now, looking to just make sure we just move them. Um, I'll always have a uh, offer up price on there, uh, best offer. So, uh, if you think the price is a little high, shoot me an offer. But those should be on the uh, on my eBay store, probably also on my uh, my slabs. If you want to check on there, so if you like any of those, feel free to hit them up. Other than that, have a good day. I'll be coming at you this Sunday. Uh, a little little hint: I got uh, the the bigger boxes that we got last year at Costco. Uh, those came back again with the series one, series two, and then the special packs in there. So. Be opening those for the channel this week. That should be coming on Sunday. So, have a good week. See you later.